Hello everybody, my name is Yellow Mustang and today I'm with my group of boys and we're going to be teaching you how to do in pairs loops. Um, that's going to be a pretty uh, scratch the surface kind of tutorial, you know, how we normally do here on the Yellow Mustang channel. So we're just going to run through pretty quick, get the basics down and then maybe you can implement it in your game. Who knows, we've learned something maybe. So we're going to do... Uh, you know, for for this loop, it's another four kind of loop. So we can do four IV in pairs workspace get children uh, do yeah. So so that's gonna be um that's gonna get all the children in the workspace, all the objects, right? So it's a, a function kind of thing here. It's gonna return. It's gonna create a table of um all the objects in workspace so um, let's let's take a closer look on what exactly is going on in this uh, mess of uh, programming here so we got four right so we know it's gonna loop through a few times so we got I I is the index right so let's let's write this down so we don't forget I is the index okay and then you might be wondering what is V V is the um, the object we're on so so it's kind of complicated. So we're going to run through this loop, right? For, for It's going to make a table, like a list of all the objects in workspace. And then we're going to go through each object individually, right? So V is going to be an object. Whichever object we're on, V is going to be. Okay, so, so V is the current object that we are on in the loop. So we can do wait one. So let's just make it kind of run through kind of slowly here so we can see what's going on. So we do um, print i, um, and then we can print v.name. So it's going to tell us what i and v is, just so you guys get um, a better understanding of what, what's going on in this loop. So we're going to run through, test, run, run this here. And then you can see, oh, we, we spelt it wrong. We made a typo. I can't type. I knew something was wrong. That's why I hesitated there. Children, okay, yeah, children. All right, so there we go. So we can spell now. So let's see. One instance, two base, terrain, dummy, 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 dummy. Okay, you see each each one is uh, going up by one. Okay, so I is going to increase each time by one for each iteration, and then it's going to list the um, the actual object you are on. Or, as you can see V is uh, changing as per each object so so we can run through this is pretty useful to do so we can do um, uh, V you know find first child humanoid and then we can do um, which is if we do if V find first child humanoid then print V dot name and we can, you know, just say it's alive. Uh, this is alive. Okay. V dot name, and and then you can see. So let's let's change these these names a little bit, so you know we can get some uh, different things printing other than just dummy, because it's kind of boring. Yeah. Okay. Now his number is just two. All right. We got akadada. So we got a. Uh, it's gonna check each uh, object that we run through. V. It's gonna find if it has a human or not, and then it's gonna print. This is alive. Okay, so let's also go through and give this an else. And so, if it doesn't find a humanoid, then we will print this is not alive. This is very not alive because it's got no humanoid, right? It can't be alive. All right, so let's go ahead and run this, and we can uh, we can see that we are going through. This is not alive. Instance is not alive. Terrain is not alive. Dummy is alive. Dummy is alive. This is alive. Okay. We got too much stuff printing here. I apologize. So let's get rid of this uh, other print. A little way too much. Clear the, uh, uh, the output here. I apologize, everybody. Let's run this again. This is not alive. As you can see, the base is not alive. Dummy, dummy, two is alive. So you can see each each dummy here we're going through. And we can detect, you know, what's alive. You know, this code is is actually useful here because it's running through it's getting all the children in workspace and we're um we're seeing if they're live so you don't have to use workspace get children in here this just seems to be like some kind of table in here so we can do um we can do our own table okay so let's go up here and make our own table so we're gonna do table 
no, let's not name it table. Let's just do it. Uh, objects equals, you know, open brackets. Okay, so for future reference, this is how you make an array or table or whatever. You know, it's array, table, same thing, pretty much. The minor differences. So we do. Uh, we can define our own objects in here. So we do workspace dummy two. Okay, workspace dot base workspace dot two. Okay, that's not two. Okay, so now you can see this is a table. It contains all of these, all of these in here. Okay, so now we can get rid of workspace get children, and we can just put objects in here. Okay, so now it's only going to check these objects in here because it's not checking the whole workspace anymore. It's only checking what we've defined. Okay, so let's run it and just make sure, you know, I'm not crazy. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to check the three objects. You can see dummy, two, two is alive, base is not alive, etc. Just like we expected. Okay, so let's do some more with this. So now, now if it's alive, you know, we can make the v.humanoid move to workspace, uh, I forget, workspace uh, base, not position, uh, not position, position, and then workspace uh, base. Okay, so now we will do a little bit more with this. So it's going to check if um, V has a humanoid or not and then if it has a humanoid it's going to print that it has a humanoid and then we're going to make the humanoid walk over to the position the base position so it's going to it's going to walk around it's going to be horrifying so let's uh let's see what we get here so um okay um good 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 position is not a valid workspace yeah so i did not mean that i meant base so so the humanoid move to command here requires a position and then a part. So yeah, so we're gonna just use the the basis position and use the base as the part. So go ahead and do that. This is alive. Okay, it's not moving. Um, yeah, it's not not moving there. It's the walk speed zero. No, it's sixteen, isn't it? Why why don't you move? Oh, cause you're anchored. Okay, so let's just make sure you know it's not anchored. Okay. Um, it still doesn't move because it's um it's a piece of shit. But but anyways um yeah, that's that's nice. Let's not let's not use move. We can just do humanoid take damage one hundred. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just deal like a lethal blow to these guys to do 100 damage to each one of them if they are alive, right? If they're in our table and if they're alive, okay? So boom, dead, all right? Boom, dead. Okay, and there you go, boom. Both dummies here are down for the count. They are anchored, they don't move, but they are dead. We detected them. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do workspace, get children again. Uh, ignore objects now so go ahead and just check the whole workspace now for uh, anybody alive and we're just gonna kill everybody because um so we do here on my channel we just kill people apparently so there you go boom 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 alright so yeah everyone's dead that's good um let me think is there anything else we need to talk about in the for for loop so so with the for IV loop you don't have to have um, I in here if you don't need it. Generally in programming, you can put a underscore is what people do for an undefined variable like that. It still kind of exists, but it doesn't really define it. So if you're not gonna use I, just put an underscore and you just do for underscore V in pairs, whatever. So so just remember I, I or whatever this is, is the index. V is the current object. It's on what is processing, so you can check it for humanoids, print the name, etc. And then we're we'll do in pairs, right? And then we're gonna insert the, our table we're checking right here, which is workspace. All of the objects in workspace is our table, or we can use objects as our table, or whatever table you want to do. So that's pretty much it for um in pairs loops for in pairs loops so if you guys have any more questions 
you know let shoot me a comment private message text my girlfriend whatever you know just let me know all right see you in the next video